for today's topic, which is the part 4 of this series, I will teach you how to graph a circle. Before anything else, let us have the review about the standard equation of a circle. So in here, the standard equation of a circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Wherein the center is on hk and r is the radius. Let us have the first example. So in here, we need to identify the center and the radius, then we will sketch the graph. I will write the standard equation here so you won't forget. Where en, h, and k is the center and r is equal to the radius. So on your given uh, standard equation, we know that h here is negative 1, the opposite sign, and k is equal to positive 2. Then in here, the number given here is the r squared. So if r squared is equal to 9, we need to get the square root of both sides to get r. So r is equal to positive 3. We only need the positive root since we are talking about the length. So now, we already know that the center is on negative 1, 2, and our radius is equal to 3. So now, we can now graph your circle. So first, what you're going to do is to plot the center. So the center would be on negative 1, positive 2. So meaning to say, negative value on x, then positive value on y. So 1, 2. This is now your center, which is negative 1, positive 2. The purpose of your radius is for you to identify the points on the circle. So from the center, you will count three units and that would be the radius of your circle. So in here, we will count three units down. 1, 2, 3. That's from the center. Then three units to the right from the center. One, two, three. Three units going up. One, two, three. And three units going left. One, two, three. So the last part for you to be able to construct your circle, what you're going to do is to connect the points on the circle on the last um, count of your radius. So, in here, we will all connect these points to form a circle. So, this is now the graph of x plus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 2 quantity squared is equal to 9. Let's have another example. On your next example, identify the center first. So your center here is negative 2, negative 3. And your r squared is equal to 4. Meaning to say, r is equal to positive 2, the square root of 4. So we will plot negative 2 on x, negative 3 on y. So 1, 2, 3. So, this is negative 2, negative 3. Next, we will count two units going up, going left, going right, and going down. So, in here, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Then, we will connect all the points. This is now the graph This is now the graph of x plus 2 quantity squared plus y plus 3 quantity squared is equal to 4. Let's have another example. So in here, we know that the center lies on negative 1 and negative 2. If we will plot the points, it's on here. So negative 1, negative 2. Then our r squared here is 25, meaning r is equal to 5. 
So, 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in here, as you can notice, the bigger the radius, the bigger the circle that you will have. Then, we will connect this to form a circle. So, this is now the graph of, let me correct it first. So, this is now the graph of x plus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to 25. Let's have other example. So, what if it is not yet on its standard equation? So, in here class, the first thing that you have to do is to convert this on its standard equation. So, um, all of the terms that has variables x and y should go on the left uh, hand portion and uh, the constant should be on the right hand side. So in here, this would be positive x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 2y is equal to negative 9. So, the reason why we change the signs, then we will uh, put uh, the terms that has same variables. So, in here, we have x squared plus 6x. So, hopefully, you still remember how to convert the general equation to standard equation. We need to put a uh, space here, plus y squared minus 2y then space is equal to negative 9. If you still remember, we need to do completing the square. So I will put a space here. So first term, so positive 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then we square it, it it's positive 9. So we need, we need to say we will add 9 here. We will add 9 here also. Then in here, this is negative 2, so this will be negative 2 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 1. Then we will square it, that is equal to positive 1. So I mean to say we will add 1 here. Then we factor them out. So the square root of the first term is x. The sine of the middle term is positive. The square root of the third term is 3. Then quantity squared plus the square root of the first term is y, the sine of the middle term is negative, and the square root of 1 is 1, then quantity squared. Then negative 9 plus 9, that's 0. What remains would be positive 1. So in here, the center is on negative 3, positive 1, r squared is equal to 1, so r is equal to 1. Then, now, we can graph it. So, first, let us plot negative 3, positive 1. So, negative 3 on x, 1, 2, 3. Then, positive 1 on y. So, meaning to say it's on this part. So, this is your center. Then, your radius is 1. So, we will count 1 unit from center only. So, the graph will be this one. So now, this is the graph for 9 is equal to 2y minus y squared minus 6x minus x squared. Or, on standard equation, that is x plus 3 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 1. On this example, um, the first thing that we need to do is uh, uh, also we need to convert this into its standard equation so i will write it here so you won't be confused that we are looking for the standard equation then 
in here, the only term that you need to transpose is positive 16. So this would be x squared. Then let's put the terms with the same variables all together now. This would be negative 8x. Then by completing the square, we get the numerical coefficient of the middle term. So negative 8 divided by 2, that's negative 4. Then we square it, that's positive 16. So meaning to say, we add 16 here plus the y terms, which is y squared minus 6y. So we get negative 6. We divide it by 2. That's negative 3. Then we square it. That's equal to positive 9. So we add 9 here. Then the positive 16 here becomes negative. Then we add positive 16 since we add it on the other side. Then we add another 9. Then we will simplify. So this would be the square root of the first term is x. Sine of the middle term is negative. The square root of the third term is 4. Then quantity squared. Plus square root of uh, the first term is y. The, term, the sine of the middle term is negative. And the square root of the third term is 3. Then quantity squared. Then we simplify the right hand side. This will be 0. Then this is equal to 9. So we know that your HK or your center is on positive 4, positive 3. And R squared is equal to 9. So R is equal to 3. So we plot it here. So positive 3 on X. So it's here. Then positive 4 on Y. So the point would be on this part. Then our radius would be 3. So we will count 3 units going up, 3 units going right, 3 units going down, and 3 units going left. Then we will connect them all to graph the circle. So now this is the graph for... Uh, 16 plus x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 6y is equal to 0 or on its standard equation x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to 9. So that would be all for today and that is the final part of this series which is all about circle. So uh, I am thanking you for watching this video and also please don't forget to subscribe. So that is our math minute for today. See you again on the next video. Bye!